Hey everybody, uh, my name is Michael Fuller and I'm here to talk to you about the new Full Tone Ranger. The Ranger is a germanium powered treble booster and it's fashioned after the 60s Range Master and it adds an incredible even harmonics to the sound. There are two models of the Ranger. There's the OC75 version, which is a limited edition using uh, NOS 60s Mullard OC75 transistors. And there's the one I'm demoing today, which is the Custom Shop Ranger. And the, the Custom Shop Ranger uh, uses NOS military germanium transistors. They're very quiet, they're very consistent, and um, they sound great. A couple of cool features about the Ranger that make it very useful uh, are number one, a six position tone switch. Um, at the lowest setting, it's full. You're passing all of the audio signal, so it's gonna get a little more distorted. It's gonna be pretty fat, it's gonna have a lot of bottom end. As you turn through the settings, you're gonna shave off more and more and more bass. Then you're gonna get into the mid range, you're gonna get into high mids, you're gonna get into RM1. RM1 is exactly like a vintage range master. It's gonna cut everything below 2K or so. Now RM2, is a lot like a later version Range Masters. It cuts off everything below 2.5K or so. The last position is one I added. It's really cutting off everything below probably 3K, and it sounds kind of like a telephone, but it, it, again, really useful with certain amps. The way this helps get a great distorted amp sound is by cutting that bass that's gonna hit the amp and make it muddy. And that's a cool thing for both live and for studio. Um, I've recently discovered it. I've, I've had the effect. I've had a vintage Range Master for a long time. I think what really got me into using this was the fact that you could just gently roll off a little bit of bass, a little more, you know, enhance the mids, enhance the upper mids. So one of the cool things about the Ranger is that you can power it with a standard negative to center adapter, even though it's a PNP, which is positive to ground. I devised a way to allow you to use a regular power supply with it, and that's kind of cool. Feature-wise, it's a fairly simple pedal. You have the six position tone switch, and you have an on-off true bypass. You have a level to set the output volume, and that's it. Uh, well, inside there is a trimmer, and you can do anything you want with that. Just adjust it where it sounds good. We set it for 4.5 volts from the factory using a 9-volt power supply. If you pop a, a fresh battery in there, sometimes batteries are up to 10 volts, so it's going to go a little higher than that. No, there is no wrong setting in this. It's just a matter of preference. So now I'm going to show you some of the sounds in this thing. And then later on, you're going to hear a tune of mine called Tell Me, which was sung by Dave Robinette. Dave and I started this song in 2003 and I could never get a right guitar sound for it. I was kind of going for like a Queen-inspired sound. And then when the Ranger came out and I discovered the second setting, which is low mids, I immediately fell in love with it, hooked it up to a Vox, um, and the, the amp I'm using is a 64 Vox AC15 with two 12s. They're Fane speakers, they're stock speakers. And then um, I'm using this Telecaster, which is a parts Telecaster. has a real Tele pickup in it from the 60s. It has a 50 Strat pickup. Strat neck, it's an ash body. I love this guitar, it's cheap and it works. You know, one of the magic things about the Ranger is the way it interacts with your volume control on the guitar. I've seen a lot of demos and guys just crank up their guitar and it sounds cool, it's like a big old fuzz and this will sound the same way when you crank it up, but there are a thousand other sounds when you turn down your guitar's volume, I'm gonna show you. So we're gonna start off on full mode, that's allowing all the signal through. Now I'm going to crank the volume on the guitar all the way up. Alright, that's kind of wild. Now the real magic is when you turn it down a little bit. So now we're going to keep it on the same full setting. I'm going to roll it back quite a bit. Roll it up a little bit. Roll it up a little more. It's on like six. Roll it up a little more. It's on seven. Roll it up a little more. It's like eight, which is kind of a sweet spot for a single coil pickup. And that's the setting I used for this tune that I'm tracking. You'll hear later. All 
right, now we're going to go to the low mid setting. That's the second position on the switch. And that is going to cut just a little of that bass out. This is my favorite setting. that. That's nice. All right, now we're going to cut off a little more bass. So you really have a pure mid-range booster, plus, of course, the highs. They're still left intact. The way a high-pass filter works is the signal comes in, and it's going to cut off everything below a, a certain point. So it's going to pass the highs, right? High pass. So in this case, we're cutting probably everything below 1K or so. Sounds good. All right, let's go to the RM1. That's Range Master 1. This would be the traditional Range Master sound used by, supposedly by Brian May. I think one of the cool things about Jimmy Page, I'm not saying that he used these, I have no idea, but he knew how to place the instruments in the studio in, in a certain tonal spectrum. And whether he used uh, something like this or EQ afterwards, it's hard to tell sometimes. I'm able to get sounds with the Ranger for recording that really pop out of the mix and in, don't get in the way of the bass. Um, this is something new for me. I've, I've always just plodded along with a huge Marshall and too much bass and, and you know, big muddy sound. So I'm kind of, this is kind of cool for me because it's a new thing. And I'm, I, I find myself using this on, and finishing a lot of songs that I was working on. All right, now we have, now we have RM2, which is a later version of the Range Master, and it cut off even more bass and mids, so it's just, I think, letting everything above 2.5K or so. Right, let's go to the next one, which is uh, Highest, it's called. Now I'm going to go through the settings and let you hear what's being shaved off. There you have it, the long and short on the Full Tone Ranger. My name is Michael Fuller. Thanks for stopping by. Um, coming up is my tune, Tell Me, featuring Dave Robinette, Jimmy Johnson, Stefan Svensson on drums, and John Vador on keyboards. All right, there's the long and short on the Full Tone Custom Shop Ranger. You can buy yours at fulltone.com or from any Full Tone authorized dealer. Thanks for stopping by, and my tune is coming up if you want to hear that. Thanks.
<laughs> it's gonna be one of those days. Hi everybody, my name is Keith Urban. Hi everybody, I'm Keith Urban's older brother. Hi everybody, I'm Keith Urban's older and taller brother. Please allow me to introduce myself. I'm a man of wealth. Well, not really, I make pedals. You can use any minor, you can use any, uh, you can use any standard nine volt trans, you can use any standard nine volt power, you can, you can use any nine volt power supply with a negative to center. Um, and it's still, I don't know. That ain't gonna make it to tape, I tell you that much.